What's up and welcome to today's video. So we had a little Manchester meetup the other week and overall I've really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it to just get together with people who have a similar mindset, a similar ambition, similar drives and just talk, you know, catch up about trading, life, anything in between as well. Share, you know, thoughts on like styles. So we all added a very similar style in fact anyway. But even there, there was differences in how we trade, different perspectives, also similar perspectives as well. So it's good to just get together, bounce ideas off each other and almost just have that little mastermind. So it was really good to, to have that. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait for more in the future. But we actually filmed behind the scenes. So you're going to get to see the entire meetup today, different sections of it. And overall, I hope you enjoy it. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Usually, if I get involved in London or early afternoon, I'll be out by four o'clock. Yeah, me too. Because that's when you usually get London clothes, you usually get a four pack. Um, so it's just probably. You got last one. Oh, look. We'll put this to London at a nice little 7%. Nice. <laughs> Safe fun. Fuck, fuck London. I know, 7%. It's a bit London. What? I've seen it like it's always. More manipulation. Yeah. Like, obviously, in hindsight, it's very easy to see it. Yeah, uh, but it's really hard at one time because sometimes it literally just goes and that's it. Like you'll see a tiny little one minute candle go up for like a pip and then it'll move down and you need to trust that that one pip is the false move. Your one minute range or whatever the range is that you're holding might even hold to this high because this was the target and once that's gone then it'll give you a sweep of those ranges to mitigate that piece because mm -hmm. it's got to with that the amount of money it had to take to push it down and push it back up in that shape. Yeah, you're right. They had to actually sweep some to pull, pull them back yeah. into it. They couldn't do it themselves. I'm now playing the shorts based a lot around the DXY. So, on the DXY, which I'll show you in a minute, there's a lot more than the push of the downside. Whereas on Eurodollar, there's more sort of stuff that's really bad. This is just that liquidation of what's to my left. And now I'm actually looking for. If we move into the week, Monday, Tuesday, we start to get pushes up. And then we start to see move depth to the downside. And that's when I'll be looking at this as a potential week low. And then that's when I'll have to take in shots from here and do some pullbacks and do a supply. So that's basically what I'm looking for. The support behind this narrative is based on the big price. If we can see the big price, if you look at this, on the one hour check time frame, this is a lot more intentional. It's not just a liquidity grab, it's clearly taken up to the tide and this high as well. Click causation point price and what you're going to see. Because this is looking very bullish. So using that narrative now on Euro dollar, although Euro dollar is not as clean, it is not as intentional here, it's still looking clean on this If price completely does something different, we start to get things to the downside on Monday, Tuesday, and then we start to move higher and pack it to the end Unless the market shows me otherwise, I'm happy to play the shot in the and see what happens from there. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, because I was seeing all this range right here. I was like, okay, it's not taking out any of those highs, and this only took out certain, but it never took out any of those. Right. So right. up here, it had those stacked highs, in my yeah. opinion. Mm -hmm. And I was seeing that as inducement. Do four ones, tens in a month, yeah, it's only 5%, but maybe it's decent. 40% in a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's called cool. attention selective test. You've probably seen it in school where basketball players are passing the ball. Passing the ball, you're going to focus on people in white that are chucking the ball. And then mid point going through, you're going to walk past the screen. Yeah, Some people it. don't see it. I don't, you don't see it? I mean, I need to focus on the girl coming in. Yeah. I'm sure you know. I just don't trust myself. Is that what it what came down to? You just don't, didn't trust yourself in the moment, just take it? Well, the, the thing is, I liked it out and I was like, okay, this is likely what's going to happen. Because I was like, where's the pudding there? Where's the juice man? I might have never found out. I sent it to my main, to my account to the I was like, oh, this is the trading deal that's likely to play out for today. Cool. And then, and then obviously, I, I come back to the charts midday. I'm like, oh, I'll play that. Oh, it's, a, it's a 1 to 10 at this stage. It's a thing. You could get a pitch perfect set of them on fire. And yeah, then you're like, I'm waiting for high probability. If I take them, 
the 7.5 cents of the out of 10. And that played out. Because it was the only reason why I was going to take it. But I knew there was a limit number. Like, I was telling us about it. It's very obvious that to, today was the first time to do it. So if you took it, it won't just be pissed off. It's true, yeah, exactly. But you need to just kind of accept it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's one of them. You don't think, say, that it might not work from here. If it does take that, it's in my original third idea, so I'll take that. Yeah. It's yeah. going to say, it's a total You found it too selective. Mm -hmm. That's why yes. I, like, I just pressed it up. Obviously, my other two losses, but if it's a win, I'd be like, it's good for you. Both trades are part of my plan. There's a um, couple of negative functions like this, but apart from that, it's going to stick to my plan. It's an old video. See, I noticed it because you said it, but <laughs> if you didn't say it, if you, you wouldn't have said it, it, would you? I nearly missed it. I didn't say it. I nearly missed it again. I was just <laughs> counting it. <laughs> but that's the thing, it's right in front of you mm. because you're selecting attention and you're so focused on that and you don't get it. I feel like as a beginner trainer, it's one of the first things you should see. Yeah, but most people don't because they don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they don't believe it either, right? Yeah. So, what do you mean something like that? I can see it. Yeah. Get that. Yeah. But then, as soon as you clear the drawings after the trade, they're like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why did you see that bearish pressure coming into the market? I do everything, you know what I mean? Because you do mark up and you just want to be right. Yeah, you do. It's a natural human emotion. We want to win, we want to be right. Yeah. It's kind of ego in a way, but we all have it to a certain degree. Do you guys still get like uh, emotions kicking in when, when you interact trades and stuff? Like once you're in, do you kind of get that moment and like, how this plays out? Um, it depends. Because I, I, I still get that. Like, so every time you buy my trade, I a little bit. If you've taken a lot of turn. Like throughout the way, then I'm sat there thinking, kind of hope this is one of the ones I play now. Mm -hmm. uh, if it done, it done, but I'm not going to get annoyed by it. Yeah. To tell me that they can, can do, do it, it. yeah, they can do more. When what if you're paying that stuff? It's <laughs> dead, right? <laughs> but as soon as you bank that right? six, though, as soon as you bank that six. But you look at the tree, you yeah, it's like, that yeah, yeah, nice. you look at the tree, this stuff, and you're like, why do you just put this stuff on? Every time I have a word, that's just a win for you. Uh, so then I'll look back on the I'm trying to figure out if that's worth it. Manage I'm not there yet, I've not got fully. Yeah, it's a lot of data collection, a lot of study on the trade. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's some of the same. There's so much to it though, isn't there? It's, it's a game you're not supposed to win. Yeah, like I say, I mean, you're not meant to win. Yeah, uh, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting to see it from the back. So that's the thing you'd, n you'd never know. So you've seen a very bullish day like this. That's where I get confused. Because obviously they don't happen often. Right? I follow all the flow in that thing. Oh, really? Like, there's a amount of times I've sat and waited for this to pull back to here to feel the same. If this say this or that, it's kind of gets the day. A minute higher here, and it gets strong. Like you said, once you've had that liquidation of that, so I've like, waited for five seconds, it tells me that it's potentially going to go. Did you say five seconds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 and that's what I was saying earlier about right, ad target, I'll take most profit here because after that's taken 50, whether the 50 is, you know, potentially potential looking for the 50 in your mitigation to push up, which when you look at this, the more liquidity is going to be those equals, which then that does, you know, I'm going to take it up. Yeah. That's what I do. It's just I found that if you do take that, like you said, it's trying to date it up and say, I want to see the picture of the If this is with a higher move, then that one will work, but if this is only for like a one minute move, and then 15 minutes all the way up here, it might do that earlier. Because then it doesn't start back down, do you know what I mean? But sometimes it's, it's an argument, so you can kind of know when to test it, and sometimes it just kind of makes sense that if we're going to do the 15 minute move, you kind of sense it in the moment, don't you? And then once 15 minutes completed, that shot will make a shift, then it will come back for the set of mitigation, which I hope that it will be Because we knew that when we got out here, all the other man that were in here, I still lost some tricks to go up here, whereas we knew to get most of it out, 
could take that, takes that, we'll get anything in the This one for longer. Yeah. Gigi actually yeah. had a lovely set in uh, Gigi. London. On yeah, Friday? I had a lot of since um, 16 Malaysia. I don't know if this might happen, this might play out. And it did. It did as well. It's always a nice feeling when you, when you mark something out. Yeah. Because I just did my market, you know, just to kind of practice. Yeah. And it played out perfectly. Uh, it was quite nice. Uh, I don't know.